Hello everyone, my name is Dromat and here is a full level by level tutorial on top lane against Yasuo, I think, because Syndra is usually mid. But he has not a level, we don't know yet. So Talia versus Yasuo on top lane. Now on to other things. I am doing a giveaway for the next three videos. I will give a free Xaya or Rakan to the first... No, the first. To a random person that I will either pick or use the freaking randomizer in the comments. So, if you want a free Talia or Rakan, Rakan, I don't know how to pronounce that, just comment on the video which one you want and why, and you might be picked and win a free champion because I have so much AP to brag about. So, yeah. Um, you have to also subscribe to my channel if you're new here because, well, I have to gain something from it, I hope so. That would be nice, like, come on, I don't make videos that bad. Okay, they are pretty bad. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, leave a comment below if you want Xaya or Rakan. And um, this video, the next video, and the third, I will make a giveaway like this. And I will pick a winner. Why are they two mid? I can't make a tutorial with top lane if I have Syndra, come on. Well, technically on top lane, at the first two levels, you just have to poke the enemy. If he's a melee, if he's a range, then you have a little problem. Now, the logic with top lane is uh, that you will usually ruin your team comp, and that pretty much sucks. But if you tell, like me, your teammates in ranked, I mean, this is a normal game, by the way, but they do have some... Uh, Masters and some diamonds, so it's okay. Um, even if you pick Talia top in ranked, some people will just flame you because they think you will fuck up. And most of the time, most new people do fuck up on top lane as Talia because come on, who knows how to play this? Like, generally, it's a bad idea. But if you do play smart and play well, then you won't have a single problem. Now, the first thing you want to do is to tell your teammates that you will play decent. This consider that you will practice before and not jump randomly in rankeds and play Talia top like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> and so I should focus more on getting the canyon minions because Focusing just Syndra, it's not well, not too good. And they have fucking Trindamer jungles. Why my teammates always dying first in the new, with the new champions? Going to lose that. That also I'm bad. Your boys are fucked. Really? Level up? That was random as fuck. You losing no minions. Yeah, now, onto the tutorial. Um, if you want to play Talia top, you have to remember that you play without teleport in order to actually win the lane. That's what I do actually. Now, what you would love to, what I would love for you to do is to pick a build with HP to become a partial off tank, like no more Rail this time. On top lane, you are forced to play with GLP, Rely, and Leandris most of the time to get the HP required to be an off tank because it's it is more, it is better to have. One main tank and one off tank, or two off tanks, then no tank at all, which might happen if you do not go at least tanky. A little bit of tanky. So, we have to focus on practicing a build and building something that offers HP. Like, no, I don't want to see Frozen Heart or shit like that. That sucks. That sucks balls. But I do want to see... Um, I do want to see GLP. Or simply Earth of Ages. 
Why do I always have the bad Xaya and the enemy has the good one? I don't get the Xaya's master, by the way, so yeah, that might be a problem. Now, what I also hate is when I fucking miss my combo. Come on. It's not that hard to hit it. Okay, let's dive her. Why the fuck not? Okay, there's your free kill, you see? Yahoo! Yes, I got free ignited! Nice! <laughs> Useless ignite! Questions, questions! Stop, please! Like this lip plays better with 277 ping. Now, if you cast that Q earlier, you might have gotten something there, but no. Okay, on to the top lane, back on the discussion. What do we want on top lane at the first three levels? is to poke and at level 3 to engage. You will face most of the time something tanky or something melee that might or might not have a dash. If it's a tank usually has sort of a dash, I'm thinking now Tilus Maokai, or sort of a gap closer, but no real damage. If it's a bruiser then most of the time he will have... Holy shit, I'm getting damaged. I can't really focus on the game I notice when I try and stop. Now, I have exhaust for the ult, by the way. So, what you want, what do you want to do is always, always poke. And normally it wouldn't be a syndrome. So, level 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, why? You try to keep fighting and you try to get a kill. Because you can do, can get a kill if you focus and hit your spells. Why? Can you fucking stop, mate? Do I go there? Yes, I go there. Yeah. Let's not talk about what just happened. This is kind of a bait for Yasuo to come. Now he won't. Okay, so we try to get a kill. Please go back. Go the fuck back. You will just die. Congrats. Now please stop. Stop, please. Bot. Yeah, I think I need to get the kill on him. Syndra. To try to at least do something in this game. Dear Talia. I blame you because you feed. You can play death without dying. It's just that he's master and you are not.
the next thing you want to do at level 6, 7 and so on you want to find a moment when their uh, when their little paradise is crushed I'm going to exhaust it At least you escaped there. Go top, top, sire. Let me with karma. Karma bot. Go top, sire. I'm trying to make him go top so I can actually try to... Okay, let's go. got this going but at the cost of what two towers and what the fuck is it doing come on I can't handle this. Okay, got this going. <sighs> How do we stop feed on that side though? Now, what you want at level 6 or 9, I said to focus on helping your mid laner or simply try to catch their jungle. That's why I won so many games on top lane, because sometimes, actually most of the times, I caught the jungler in a nasty position. Nice. Okay. That kick was questionable. Well, we start to win now. The main purpose of top lane Talia is to get to the team fight as quick as possible while stomping the enemy laner because you have a natural advantage, it's like playing a ranged top but also have slows and lots of HP and CC and it's quite close to Lissandra but I said I say she deals way more damage than Lissandra, it's simpler to roam Dirk size there. Ok, 
Okay, she has three deaths now. I start to uh, beat them really hard down there. Down here from the bottom lane. Now, what I can talk about to expand on that. Oh, nice. are broken I can't can I put that in a montage can it was it was glorious please do not die oh actually they kill her instantly until they fuck up and they win actually Excuse me, sir, stop hitting my tower. For the mid game you'd want to have the fight and to do good was just like just like the mid lane, your purpose is quite the same. How the fuck do you die? I can kite this guy for days. Question is will I catch him? Yes, I will. You know why? Because... No, I won't. I thought I have the minion advantage, but... Mm, the wall advantage, but no. The minion stopped, stopped me, so... I need to buy boots. Just, just because of him. Just because he's annoying. Do you mind? Stop feeding, please. That cries about damage. Come on. What is this? Let's rush. Yeah, she's definitely not here because. Why would she? I mean. Neither here. You want as a top lane Talia to do a nice wall to change the things up a little. You want to make an advantage for your team and for the fact that you don't have to teleport what what why? So you have to work on the stay with your team, all somewhere, abuse when their top laner doesn't have TP. That's how it works. Okay. Pop. They popped. Even if they have a 13 kill side, that's not enough because we win two lanes, not one. I don't know how they got 10 kills, but... Yeah. I go fight that Trindamer. And that's the main <laughs> purpose of top lane Talia. You can stay on top lane when you're level 16 and slit push, and you can also join your teammates with your ultimate. Careful. 
Careful. Really? Really? Ah, uh, and Jesus. Why do you jump on Syndra? That would, that pink could be pretty useful. That only fire focus. The good old dodge every spell. Die instantly. Just carries. Got to finish my Leandris right here. I'm not really sure if you're going to win this because late game they simply have a better team comp. Have Lee Sin, which is useless, as we all know that Lee Sin late game is a pain in the ass to deal with. And to have it on your team is even worse. Where is the last rock? are you doing? Why? Fight? I see. her without her. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed when I see some Z being randomly pissed that can't kill a target. Dude, you're going to kill me. Well, Xyla's dead. That's that, I suppose. No, not surrendering this.
What? Did you just jump in there? Confused, confused about the honestly. Okay, so this is pretty much lost, but I hope you got something to learn out of this. And why? Why aren't you even kiting him? Jesus, that was a free kill on Trinda. Not rocket science, it's easy. Well, well then, dead. Some magic, maybe she's here. No, here. And that uses alt on fucking karma. Lord, you lost. What? Yes, we lost the game. I'm pretty much alone, as you can see. nothing to do for me this game not even a bit any champion would have have would have been nullified by the trainer so again guys remember keep in mind I am doing the Talia and Rakan giveaway so feel free to join and come and subscribe and leave a comment on which champion do you want and you might just win see you guys goodbye